Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the media. First, I'd like to apologize for keeping you waiting. The second thing I will say at the very beginning is that I will read the joint declaration of Argyle for dialogue and peace between Guyana and Venezuela. And at the conclusion, there will be no questions. The declaration will speak for itself. The, the copies of the declaration which are being printed at the moment for members of the media. As you are probably aware at the head table with me, uh, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt of the Commonwealth of Dominica, the current chair of CARICOM, the Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Motley, and we have our brother, the personal envoy of President Lula of the Federated Republic of Brazil, my dear friend Celso Amorim. The declaration, the joint declaration of Argyle for dialogue and peace between Guyana and Venezuela reads as follows. On Thursday, December the 14th, 2023, in Argyle, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, His Excellency Irfan Ali, President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, and His Excellency Nicolas Maduro, President of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, held discussions on matters consequential to the territory in dispute between their two countries. These discussions were facilitated by the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and pro tempore President of the Community of Latin American and Caribbean States, CELAC, Dr. the Honorable Ralph E. Gonzalez, and the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica and Chairman of the Caribbean Community, CARICOM, the Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt. Prime Ministers Gonzalez and Skerritt, together with His Excellency Mr. Celso Amorim, Special Advisor and Personal Envoy of His Excellency Luis Inacio Lula de Silva, President of the Federated Republic of Brazil, acted as principal interlocutors. Also present were the Honorable Prime Ministers of the Caribbean Community, namely the Honorable Philip Davis, Prime Minister of the Bahamas, the Honorable Mia Amor Motley, Prime Minister of Barbados, the Honorable Deacon Mitchell, Prime Minister of Grenada, the Honorable Philip J. Pear, Prime Minister of St. Lucia, the Honorable Terence Drew of St. Kitts and Nevis, and Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley, Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Attending as observers on behalf of His Excellency Antonio Guterres, Secretary General of the United Nations, were Their Excellencies Earl Courtney Rattray, Chief Chef de Cabinet of the Office of the Secretary General of the United Nations and Miroslav Jenka, Under Secretary General of the United Nations Department of Political and Peacebuilding Affairs. In addition, His Excellency Alvaro Leva Duran, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Colombia, and Mr. Gerardo Torres Zelaya, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Honduras in his capacity as Silak Troika, also participated. All parties attending the meeting at Argyle, St. Vincent and the Grenadines reiterated their commitment to Latin America and the Caribbean remaining in the zone of peace. Guyana and Venezuela declared as follows. One, 
agreed that Guyana and Venezuela directly or indirectly will not threaten or use force against one another in any circumstances, including those consequential to any existing controversies between the two states. Two, agreed that any controversies between the two states will be resolved in accordance with international law, including the Geneva Agreement dated February 17, 1966. Three, committed to the pursuance of good neighborliness, peaceful coexistence, and the unity of Latin America and the Caribbean. Four, noted Guyana's assertion that it is committed to the process and procedures of the International Court of Justice for the resolution of the border controversy. Noted Venezuela's assertion of its lack of consent and lack of recognition of the International Court of Justice and its jurisdiction in the border controversy. Five, agreed to continue dialogue on any other pending matters of mutual importance to the two countries. Six, agreed that both states will refrain, whether by words or deeds, from escalating any conflict or disagreement arising from any controversy between them. The two states will cooperate to avoid incidents on the ground conducive to tension between them. In the event of such an incident, the two states will immediately communicate with one another, the Caribbean community, CARICOM, the community of Latin America and the Caribbean, CELAC, and the president of Brazil to contain, reverse, and prevent its recurrence. Seven, agreed to establish immediately a joint commission of the foreign ministers and technical persons from the two states to address matters as mutually agreed. An update from this joint commission will be submitted to the presidents of Guyana and Venezuela within three months. Eight, both states agreed that Prime Minister Ralphi e. Gonzalez, the pro tempore president of CELAC, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt, the incumbent CARICOM chairman, and President Luis Inacio Lula de Silva of Brazil will remain seized of the matter as interlocutors and the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres as observers with the ongoing concurrence of Presidents Irfan Ali and Nicolas Maduro. For the avoidance of doubt, Prime Minister Gonzalez's role will continue even after St. Vincent and the Grenadines ceases to be the pro tempore president of CELAC within the framework of the CELAC Troika plus one. And Prime Minister Skerritt's role will continue as a member of the CARICOM Bureau. Nine, both states agreed to meet again in Brazil within the next three months or at another agreed time to consider any matter with implications for the territory in dispute, including the above mentioned update of the Joint Commission. 10. We express our appreciation to Prime Ministers Gonzales and Skerritt, to President Lula and his personal envoy Celso Amorim, to all other CARICOM Prime Ministers present, to the officials of the CARICOM Secretariat, to the CELAC Troika and to the head of the CELAC PTP Secretariat in St. Vincent and in Grenadines, His Excellency Dr. Douglas Slater, for their respective roles in making this meeting a success. 11. We express our appreciation to the government and people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines for their kind facilitation and hospitality at this meeting, dated this 14th day of December, 2023. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, that's the statement, that's the declaration, the joint declaration of Argyle for dialogue and peace between Guyana and Venezuela. And we thank you very much for your presence and your forbearance. May Almighty God continue to bless all of us. The, the declaration, I've been advised, would now be read in Spanish. Pero eso no es para allá, ¿sí? Declaración conjunta de Argyll por el diálogo y la paz entre Guyana y Venezuela. El jueves 14 de diciembre de 2023 en Argyll, San Vicente y las Granadinas, Su Excelencia Irfan Ali.
Presidente de la República Cooperativa de Guyana y Su Excelencia Nicolás Maduro, Presidente de la República Bolivariana de Venezuela, mantuvieron conversaciones sobre asuntos consecuentes al territorio en disputa entre sus dos países. Estos debates fueron facilitados por el, presidente, por el primer ministro de San Vicente y las Granadinas y el presidente pro tempore de la Comunidad de Estados Latinoamericanos y Caribeños, CELAC, doctor Ralph González, y el primer ministro de la Commonwealth de Dominica y presidente de la Comunidad del Caribe, CARICOM, Roosevelt Skerritt. Los primeros ministros González y Skerritt, junto con su excelencia, Celso Amorim, consejero especial y enviado personal de su excelencia, el presidente Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva, actuaron como interlocutores principales. También estuvieron presentes los honorables primeros ministros de la Comunidad del Caribe, a saber, el honorable Philip Davis, primer ministro de Bahamas, la honorable Mi Amor Motley, primera ministra de Barbados, el Honorable Deacon Mitchell, Primer Ministro de Grenada, el Honorable Philip Pierre, Primer Ministro de Santa Lucía, el Honorable Terrence Drew, de San Cristóbal y Nieves, y el Dr. Keith Rowley, Primer Ministro de la República de Trinidad y Tobago. Asistieron en calidad de observadores, en representación de Su Excelencia Antonio Guterres, Secretario General de las Naciones Unidas, Sus Excelencias Earle Courtney Rattray, jefe de gabinete de la Oficina del Secretario General de las Naciones Unidas, y Miroslav Jenka, Secretario General Adjunto del Departamento de Asuntos Políticos y de Consolidación de la Paz de las Naciones Unidas. Además, participaron el excelentísimo señor Álvaro Leiva Durán, Ministro de Relaciones Exteriores de la República de Colombia y el señor Gerardo Torres Celaya, Viceministro de Relaciones Exteriores de la República de Honduras, en su calidad de troika de la CELAC. Todas las partes asistentes a la reunión de Argil, San Vicente y las Granadinas reiteraron su compromiso de que América Latina y el Caribe sigan siendo una zona de paz. Guyana y Venezuela declararon lo siguiente. Uno, acordaron que Guyana y Venezuela, directa o indirectamente, no se amenazarán ni utilizarán la fuerza mutuamente en ninguna circunstancia, incluidas las derivadas de cualquier controversia existente entre ambos estados. Dos, Acordaron que cualquier controversia entre los dos estados se resolverá de conformidad con el derecho internacional, incluido el Acuerdo de Ginebra del 17 de febrero de 1966. 3. Comprometidos con la búsqueda de la buena vecindad y la convivencia pacífica y la unidad de América Latina y el Caribe. 4. Tomaron nota de la afirmación de Guyana de que está comprometida con el proceso y los procedimientos de la Corte Internacional de Justicia para la resolución de la controversia fronteriza. Tomaron nota de la afirmación de Venezuela de su falta de consentimiento y falta de reconocimiento de la Corte Internacional de Justicia y su jurisdicción en la controversia fronteriza. Cinco. Acordaron continuar el diálogo sobre cualquier otro asunto pendiente de importancia mutua para los dos países. Sexto, acuerdan que ambos estados se abstendrán, ya sea de palabra o de hecho, de intensificar cualquier conflicto o desacuerdo derivado de cualquier controversia entre ellos. Los dos estados cooperarán para evitar incidentes sobre el terreno que conduzcan a tensiones entre ellos. En caso de que se produzca un incidente de este tipo, los dos estados se comunicarán inmediatamente entre sí con la comunidad del CARICOM, con la comunidad de estados latinoamericanos y caribeños CELAC y con el presidente de Brasil para contenerlo, revertirlo y evitar que se repita. Siete, Acordaron establecer inmediatamente una comisión conjunta de los ministros de Relaciones Exteriores y técnicos de los dos estados para tratar los asuntos mutuamente acordados, 
Una actualización de esta comisión conjunta será presentada a los presidentes de Guyana y Venezuela en un plazo de tres meses. 8. Ambos estados acordaron que el primer ministro Ralph González, presidente pro tempore de la CELAC, el primer ministro Roosevelt Skerritt, presidente en ejercicio de CARICOM, y el presidente Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva de Brasil, seguirán ocupándose del asunto como interlocutores y el secretario general de la ONU, Antonio Guterres, como observador con la concurrencia permanente de los presidentes Irfan Ali y Nicolás Maduro. Para evitar dudas, el papel del primer ministro González continuará incluso después de que San Vicente y las Granadinas deje de ser el presidente pro tempore de la CELAC, en el marco de la troika de la CELAC más uno, y el papel del primer ministro Skerritt continuará como miembro del Buró de la CARICOM. Noveno. Ambos estados acordaron reunirse de nuevo en Brasil en los próximos tres meses o en otro momento acordado para considerar cualquier asunto con implicaciones para el territorio en disputa, incluida la mencionada actualización de la Comisión Mixta. 10. Expresamos nuestro agradecimiento a los primeros ministros González y Skerritt, al presidente Lula, y a su enviado personal Celso Amorín, a todos los demás primeros ministros de la CARICOM presentes, a los funcionarios de la Secretaría de la CARICOM, a la Troika de la CELAC y al jefe de la Secretaría PTP de la CELAC en San Vicente y las Granadinas, su excelencia el señor Douglas Slater, por sus respectivos papeles en el éxito de esta reunión. 11. Expresamos nuestro agradecimiento al gobierno y al pueblo de San Vicente y las Granadinas por su amable facilitación y hospitalidad en esta reunión, fechado el 14 de diciembre de 2023. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks. Have a good evening.